NAD or nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide is one of the most abundant and crucial coenzymes of every living cell in your body. It's basically an essential helper molecule in the chemical reactions in your cells that turn food into energy. And it powers cellular processes that basically keep you alive. It fills your cells um, that, that need to produce cellular energy, which they use for hundreds of processes you don't even notice, like repairing damaged cells, fighting infections, combating inflammation, fueling brain function, and even warding off the effects of aging. Um, basically, there's no biological process that doesn't need NAD. And NAD is one of the keys to maintaining healthy mitochondrial functions. For instance, there was a study from Japan that showed a daily intake of 250 milligrams of NMN, which is just two tablets a day. And I tend to use even more, especially as we get older. Um, but even two tablets a day or 250 milligrams of NMN significantly um, raised NAD levels. Uh, and, and the levels sort of doubled after about four weeks and then sort of plateaued and, and there were no side effects. Another study from Japan showed that it improved sleep quality and uh, enhanced physical function in older people. Uh, and another study in December showed that it enhanced uh, mitochondrial DNA replication. So NMN, I started using 200 milligrams, 250 milligrams a day on people. And as a preventive, that's probably where I end up. But as people get older, you know, I, I use four a day. Um, and I probably could even use more, but I sort of start at two, and if people aren't having any effect, then I go to four. And actually, interestingly enough, I've been using a higher dose, eight a day for long COVID. Now, long, a lot of people have been having a lot of fatigue, headaches, um, and long COVID symptoms in general. And, and one of the supplements I've been using is actually uh, NMN, but I use eight a day, I use a gram a day, so, um, and then I'll come down to 500 milligrams a day. You know, and I usually add some quercetin and some specialized pro-resolving mediators as well. So that's sort of what I've been using. But the, NM, the NMN seems to sort of, um, sort of shift people from this fatigue to just gives them a boost of energy. But you, you need for that acute type of thing, you need probably eight, not probably, my experience has been eight a day. But generally, I would say if you want to get an effect four a day, 500 milligrams is a, is a fair dose. 250 is what I use just as a preventive thing. I tend not to use it as much on younger people in my practice because it's, it's you know, it's an expensive supplement. So, and I try to use sort of, you know, very targeted supplements. So I tend not to use it as much in younger people unless what I'm seeing, for instance, is a lot of biohackers, people coming in. They're starting the anti-aging process at a younger age, which is a relatively new thing. So, yeah, when people ask about it, I, I use it, but I don't, it's not in the first line of, of, of treatments in, in younger pe people for me. I'm not saying you shouldn't, and if, if you're prepared to spend the money, it's probably a good idea, but that's not where I've had a lot of experience with it. A lot of people who come in at that age want a quick fix. It's often harder, although they, they have really good results when they start exercising more and, and, and changing their lifestyle. But what's interesting with the NMN is they sort of get a fairly quick fix. So someone in their 60s and 70s are usually 500 milligrams is the starting dose. Some people actually need six, but I usually will start people on 500 milligrams a day and then sometimes will go up to 750 to six a day. But yeah, you need to give someone like that a good dose. And it's actually pretty amazing. Within a month, you most people will feel the effect.